Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Other Worlds, the core rulebook. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this role-playing game where you play as wanderers who move across many worlds, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the dwarves and the diary. Let's start with the dwarves. The handy, the hardy, the proud and loyal. They love a good time. Dwarves, above all else, believe in responsibility, favoring those that work hard and pull themselves up by their bootstraps. To wind down from a long day, they appreciate long nights of drinking. They can handle themselves incredibly well. They are short, stout, and human-like. Male dwarves usually sport giant beards, but all dwarves sport hardy muscles. Dwarves have a history of keeping to themselves and enjoying personal freedom. The dwarves of Yomonoko reside in the land of Earth, where they are most known for practicing generosity. Dwarves who've migrated to Arkwin have built a long history of tinkering and coming up with all sorts of crazy, alchemical, and robotic madness. Dwarves enjoy getting their hands dirty and doing the jobs that many others won't do. They pride themselves on a day's hard work and won't shy away from offering a helping hand. Many dwarves can get worked up and stressed and can be quick to tease. Regardless, many ultimately enjoy the company of a dwarf seeing them as great, reliable companions, whether it be in drinking, work, or battle. Dwarves can be brash and their jokes can be a bit hurtful. However, they mean well and are honest and dependable, making it so many species enjoy, or at the very least tolerate, a dwarf's presence. Dwarves wake up early to a day of hard work ahead and spend their nights with big groups of friends and family, blasting music. Dwarves tend to stick to the same job all of their lives, preferring to do the daily routine instead of constantly changing things up. Usually, adventuring isn't a dwarf's first choice. It's often a life without settling down, having a big family, or choosing a more stable job, which are all things that dwarves value greatly. However, a dwarf will seek adventure if it's called upon them as a necessity, or if they are an outcast of their society so they enjoy or value hard work and responsibility. They despise things such as laziness and complainers. Some of their male names include Ardo, Boric, and Galthor. Some of their female names include Abo, Kamra, and Kemra. Let's talk about some of the dwarf traits. Their average size is four feet and two inches tall. Their size is considered medium nonetheless. They are actually pretty decent when it comes to their movement speed. They speak the common language and dwarven language. They have heavy, gruff voices, full of heart, that can echo far and wide. They reach adulthood at age 16, and reach the elder status at 185 years of age. They have a weakness towards fire. Dwarves are known for their endurance and work ethic, but lack grace, so they are very tough they have good resolve, but they are not very dexterous. Some of their species skills include Stout. You gain edge when resisting being knocked back or knocked down. You also have Grizzled. You gain an edge when attacking with bludgeoning and slashing weapons. Now let's talk about the Diari. Students of knowledge. Hyper intelligent. Good with spell casting. The Diari are a species of intellect and beauty. Their society is the most advanced, and they believe emotion to be a flaw and a hindrance. They are responsible for the development of guards, teleportation, space travel, elemental weaponry, and many other advances amongst the worlds. The Diari are humanoids with pointy ears. Their skin varies in shades of blue and purple. The curiosity of the Diari has always led them to pursue advancement in understanding and technology. They have now acquired riches far beyond the other species, developing guards, ships, anti-grav technology, and more. The Ari are native to Christos, and are governed by a council of the smartest in the galaxy. They often let logic dictate their actions, rather than emotion. The Ari watch over the galaxy, 
and impose their rules and regulations throughout most of the known planets in the universe. Most species that hate the Diari are ones that align with evil, due to punishment being inflicted upon them for their actions. Most Diari view themselves as arbiters of right and wrong. This is most likely due to their superior knowledge and the many strides in technological advancement they have made. Most Diari prefer putting their minds to the test and bettering themselves with mental challenges. This normally would override their desire to explore or battle, but they will do so if it's to serve their motives or directive. They value things such as intelligence and practicality. They despise discord and ignorance. They have names such as Aros, Anar, and Crypsis in the case of males, and female names such as Lyselia, Nidia, and Alesnia. Let's talk about some of their traits. The Diari stand at around 6 feet tall. Their size is considered medium. They are decent when it comes to movement speed. They speak the languages of Diarin and Common. The Diari pronounce each and every word very articulately, but this doesn't mean they speak slowly to sound out their words. They reach adulthood at 16 years of age and they reach the elder status at 300 years. They have a weakness towards fire. The Diari are the most intelligent and resolute. However, their bodies are frail. So they are very intelligent, they have good resolve, but they aren't very tough when it comes to their physical constitution. Some of their species skills include Thought Engineer. They gain an edge on intelligence checks. And they have Mystic Arts. They increase their base astral by their tier level multiplied by 3. We will talk about the uses of astral in a future part of this review. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about the elves and the feelings. I think that the dwarves in this role playing game are fairly archetypical or common when compared to other role playing games. But considering this is a science fantasy setting they have a nice balance of being inventors, perhaps innovators in some way, but at the same time they have that natural sturdiness and that hard-working and grizzled and no-nonsense attitude to them. When it comes to the Diary, they remind me a lot of the Balkan in Star Trek, so they are very intelligent, but a bit cold at times. So if you want to consider classes or archetypes, when it comes to these two species going into dangerous territory, the dwarves are great to be frontliners, but at the same time, they are great craftsmen. Or rather, crafts dwarves, perhaps. So, you have a character that is able to wield weapons and artisan's tools with great efficiency and efficacy. Now, concerning the Diary, they are more suitable for a spellcaster sort of role, hanging back while using your powers and superior intellect to win the day. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you, and see you later!